Number six. Okay. This time, we have two binomials being multiplied by each other, and then we also have another factor out front that's being multiplied by these as well. Okay. Remember when you're doing multiplication, the order of multiplication does not matter. Okay. What I'm going to do is multiply the binomials first, but I can't forget that there's a negative 2 out front. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that negative 2 out front to start, and I'm going to multiply these binomials. But my answer is going to have to stay in brackets so that I remember to multiply it all by negative 2 after. Okay. 4x times 7x will give us 28x squared. Good. Outside terms, 4x times negative 6 is negative 24x. Inside terms, negative 5 times 7x, negative 35x. Okay. And then last terms, negative 5 times negative 6, give me positive 30. Okay. Before I multiply the negative 2 into these brackets using distributive property, I can simplify inside those brackets first. Okay. 28x squared, there's no like terms to collect with the x squared. Okay. But I have a negative 24x and a negative 35x. Okay. So I can collect those like terms, and that will give me negative 59x. Okay, so I collect that, I have negative 59x, and then I only have one constant, I'll stay at the end. Okay, now what I have to do, I have to use distributive property, just like we did at the beginning of the lesson, and expand this to, into every term inside the brackets there. Okay, so if I go ahead and do that, negative 2 times 28x squared, will give me negative 56x squared. Negative 2 times negative 59x will give me a positive 118x. Negative 2 times positive 30 will give me negative 60. So there's my final answer there. Okay, So that was negative 2 times 4x minus 5 times 7x minus 6. We multiplied the binomials first, left our answer in brackets so that we remembered to then multiply it all by negative 2. I could have expanded the negative 2 into the first binomial first, and then multiplied that resulting binomial by 7x minus 6. That would have given us the same answer. Okay? If you want, you can go ahead and try that. Do the negative 2 times 4x minus 5 first, leave that answer in brackets, and multiply it by 7x minus 6. You can go ahead and try that, and you should get the same answer. Okay? Because the order of multiplication does not matter. Good. Okay. Last example we'll do together. Okay? So this is a little bit of a longer one. We just have to remember our bed math rules. Okay, so we have 2 times x plus 7 times x minus 3. Then we're going to subtract it. We're going to subtract 4x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. So if you remember our bed mass rules, before we can subtract anything, we have to do the multiplication. Okay, multiplication comes before subtraction. So let's just look at this first part first, okay? So let's do 2 times x plus 7 times x minus 3, okay? Let's do, let's do like we did with the last one. Let's multiply the binomials first, and then we'll multiply it all by 2. Okay? So this is going to give us 2 times the product of x plus 7 times x minus 3. So x plus 7 times x minus 3, use FOIL, the first terms. x times x gives us x squared. The outside terms, x times negative 3, gives us negative 3x. The inside terms, 7 times x is 7x. 7 times, sorry, the last term, 7 times negative 3, negative 21. Okay? And then, if we simplify this further, okay, this will give us, we can simplify inside the brackets, okay, by collecting like terms. Negative 3x plus 7x is 4x. Good. Okay? Now, before I go any further, let's look at this other side here. Okay. So I want to subtract the product of these binomials. Okay. So I'm going to subtract whatever the product of these binomials is. Make sure you keep your answer in brackets. Okay. So first terms, 4x times 2x is 8x squared. Then the outside terms, 4x times negative 1 is negative 4x. Inside terms, 3 times 2x is 6x. Then the last terms, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 
Good. I can simplify it inside the brackets by collecting like terms. 8x squared, negative 4x plus 6x is positive 2x. I went a little too far there. Okay, I wanted to try and erase that just by undoing it, but that didn't work. Okay. Okay, so plus 2x minus 3. Good. Okay. So now we just have to remember our bed mass rule is still. Okay. I still have to do this two times this trinomial here before I can do any subtraction. Okay. Multiplication has to come first. Okay. No, I don't want to write in red anymore. Let's do it. Let's do it in a nice green. Okay. So, 2 times x squared. So, apply the 2 to each term inside the brackets. Okay. 2 times x squared is 2x squared plus 8x minus 42. And I want to subtract 8x squared plus 2x minus 3. Okay. So I have to apply this. Remember, there's an invisible 1 out front here. Okay. I want to apply this negative 1 to each term inside the brackets. Okay. So what's going to happen is just all the signs of all the terms in the bracket are going to reverse. Okay. So anytime you saw a plus, it's going to become negative and vice versa. Okay. You could have also remembered the rule when subtracting a polynomial, you can just add the opposite. Okay. You could have done that. I like to think of it as applying this negative 1 to each term inside the brackets. If I go ahead and do that, okay. first terms are staying the same. Okay. 8x minus 42. Now I want to apply that negative 1 into the brackets so we can get rid of these brackets. Okay. Negative 1 times 8x is negative 8x. Negative 1 times positive 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Okay, now we can start collecting like terms and make this a little smaller. Okay, so let's look at... Oh, I lost a square, the x squared here. Okay, so I have negative 1 times 8x squared. I forgot that. Okay, so this one should be 8x squared. Sorry, sorry, go back in your, in your notes. Just go and change that to a negative 8x squared. Okay. I wrote the exponent a little too far over here, so I, I didn't see it when I was expanding. Okay, But we have it there now. Okay, So I had negative 1 times 8x squared gives me negative 8x squared. Okay, okay. now we can go ahead and collect like terms. Okay, So remember, like terms are terms with the same variable to the same exponent. Okay, So this 2x squared and this negative 8x squared, they both have a variable of x and an exponent of 2. We can collect those. Okay, We want to write our answer with the terms with the highest degree exponent first. Okay, so we'll do the x squared first. So 2x squared minus 8x squared is negative 6x squared. Okay, now let's collect the um, let's collect the like terms with a variable of x to the 1. Okay, so we have an 8x and a negative 2x. We can collect those. 8x minus 2x is 6x. Good. And I also have our constants. We can collect our constants of negative 42 and 3. And that will give us positive 39. So after all that, there's my final answer. Okay. So it's really important when you go through this to make sure you keep the brackets in the right spot and you pay attention to the sign uh, of each of the terms when you're when you're multiplying. Okay. Um, a lot of mistakes can be made by, you know, when collecting like terms or forgetting, you know, to expand this negative one into the brackets or forgetting that when we multiply these binomials by each other, we have to write our answer, um, our product inside of brackets. So we remember to apply this negative sign to all the terms. Okay, so there's a lot of different places mistakes can be made here, but if you follow your bed mass rules and practice a bunch of these questions, okay, you'll get the hang of them and you'll be able to get these answers. Okay, I'm going to give you one more that you can just try. Okay, I'm just going to put the answer up for this one. I'll just put the answer, give it a try, and make sure that you're able to get the answer. Okay, So pause it right here, give it a shot, and here's the answer that you should get. It should give you 22x squared plus 35x 
minus 38. Okay. So go ahead, keep trying that one until you can get this answer. Okay. Good. Okay, so a summary of what we've learned today. Okay. Oh, first of all, so when working with quadratics, okay, because remember we're in the quadratics unit still, when will this skill be useful? So why are we going to want to be able to multiply binomials? Okay. If you remember, factored form of, quad of a quadratic is y equals a times x minus r times x minus s. Okay. So if you go back and look at some of the questions we've done, this looks just like that. We have an a value, and then one factor times another factor. Okay. So when this is going to be useful is when we want to go from factored form into standard form. Okay. So going from that factored form into standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay. We don't know yet why that'll be useful, but in the future it will be important to be able to go from factored form to standard form. Okay? So we want to, I'll just write that here, to go from factored form to standard form. Okay? That's why this is important. Okay. Now to read what we learned today. We learned how to use FOIL to multiply binomials. What that is, is multiplying, um, to find the product of two binomials, we multiply each term in the first binomial by each term in the second binomial, then simplify by collecting like terms. So multiply each term, so multiply the 3x and the 7 by each of the terms in the second binomial, the x and the 5. Okay, so that would give us 3x times x and 3x times negative 5, and then 7 times x, and 7 times negative 5. And once again, that's the, the first terms multiplied by each other, then the outside terms, then the inside terms, then the last terms, okay? When you do all of those products and simplify by collecting like terms, that gives you the product of these two binomials. Okay, good. So here's the homework that you should be doing after this, just to practice these skills. Other than that, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and have a good night.